this is present me starting off with Paris. I feel like the whole city itself is a lot more relaxed than the US. It also felt a lot safer. I was never scared of being catcalled because that's just not the culture there. I walked at least a mile straight through the city and everyone just minded their business. I didn't find any Parisians rude like the stereotype. People were just very straightforward and I didn't find a lot of small talk unless the Parisian I was talking to spoke a good amount of English. I found the metro system a bit confusing at first, but once I rode it multiple times, I eventually got the hang of it. I stayed in an Airbnb on my trip to Paris and I recommend that for everyone. It just felt a lot more homey and relaxed because in the morning we would go out to a patisserie or boulangerie and get some pastries or bread and just take it home and eat it for breakfast instead of going out to breakfast. Croissants and baguettes and crepes are so much cheaper there and they're a thousand times better. Like I told myself I would not be eating another croissant until I go back to Paris. Also, if you want some Paris memorabilia or souvenir, I would recommend going to a market because they basically run every day and it'll be a lot cheaper than getting a souvenir right in front of the Eiffel Tower. I apologize, my thoughts are just a mess right now, but now let's head over to London. So we stayed in a hotel and this is why I recommend staying in an Airbnb because you'll just feel so much more relaxed and most likely there'll be air conditioning. We visited Buckingham Palace, we actually did a tour, and I think it was such a cool experience. We went before the Queen died, of course, so rest in peace, Queen Elizabeth. The buses were super easy to navigate in London. I didn't really like the tube, it was always just very crowded, and sometimes it would make these awful noises, and it really pierced your ears. We also visited the British Museum, and I thought that was amazing. I definitely recommend a British Museum visit and a Buckingham Palace tour. There are endless things to do in London, so I would stay for more than four days. We only had that amount of time, and I wish I could have done so much more. Now, let's go over to my raw reactions from my hotel room in London. I'll be discussing a lot more things. Okay, so here's one other thing I want to point out, especially about Paris, it's because I come from an area that has pretty good air, like air quality, and the air in Paris is horrible. Because you know in the US people don't really smoke as much and there's always designated spots for it, like you can't just like smoke in public really, at least in my area, uh, but and in Paris, oh my god, people smoking everywhere. And so you just breathe it in and then the cars and just the air quality is so bad. I'm sorry, I'm keep looking. The air quality is so bad. And so I got like kind of sick. I got so congested just because I'm not used to the air at all. And you know how some people have black snot after like music festivals with all that dust? Yeah, that didn't really happen to me, but it was definitely dark gray it was not black but it was dark gray and it was absolutely disgusting and I'm still so congested like I'm not I'm like never not sick I swear to god so be aware of that especially if you come from like a, like a rural area and you aren't really exposed to that much pollution because oh my god it's so bad and like fix your nose and your throat like my sister is so sick I'm not as sick as my sister my sister is really sick and it just made the trip so miserable. So I feel like if you are very sensitive to the air quality, you gotta be careful. And I know my sister was wearing a mask because the air quality is really bad. So you gotta be careful and you gotta look out for that. Always have tissues because it's so gross. And in London, it's not as bad, but still like just standing outside sometimes, my nose is like all acting up because just so many people smoke and then they smoke on the streets and just blow it right in front of you. And I'm not used to that at all. Like I'm, I'm never around smokers. So it's just like so gross, honestly. Okay, I put my phone up here. So the thing is, I don't really know if you can, can like can prepare for something like this, especially with the air quality. 
it's just more something that you have to be aware of and i know the uk and europe is going through some drought right now but like especially in the parks i think that was the worst um because there was just so much dirt so the dirt i mean this doesn't really have to do with air pollution but the dirt was just rising and you could see it in the air it was so gross just rising and going up your nose and so i think that's what really made me sick and just like you could just see in the air even if you weren't in the parks just the amount of smokers that you'll pass by is like is incredible so just be aware i mean and wear a mask if you are extremely sensitive because i definitely feel like that will help i keep moving my phone but i feel like this is such a good angle so i i don't i just wanted to throw this in here because i definitely noticed it between the two cities of paris and london so paris there really aren't as many cars you will see so many people on bikes and like those electric scooters so uh, those are really easy to rent but you always have to be aware of those when you're crossing the street because they will come out of nowhere and they won't stop versus in london there are a lot more cars and you, nobody really uses scooters i haven't seen that that often um but a lot of people some people use bikes but just not as much as paris so um yeah but you still gotta look out for that and you have to be careful because in the US, you know, we have we drive on the right. So when you're crossing the street, it's kind of hard to remember to look like a different way because you're so used to looking this way or that way. So you have to kind of change it. So like prepare for that because that's happened multiple times and you gotta be careful because yeah, bikers don't stop. So you look the wrong way because you think the cars come in from the left this way or whatever and no he's coming from the opposite way and you're gonna get hit so that is something you have to look out for because it's a big change compared to the u.s i wanted to record this right now because you can kind of hear the plane because um there's london city airport um and you can basically hear every single plane that flies above london um versus in paris no airport is really close to the city so you will like never see any planes unless they're like 30,000 feet in the sky and you just see like the little like streak that they that they leave but in London you will definitely hear all the airplanes so that's a little different but I mean, it's not that big of a deal sometimes you just have to yell to hear the other person the last thing I would like to point out just now is how much dirtier London is compared to Paris so maybe this is just because of the neighborhood that I'm staying in so um, I'm staying in Russell Square in London is kind of like west north ish um, and in Paris I stayed in Republique which was a little more east um, kind of north so but I thought just London was so much dirtier just on the street you just see more like gum on the ground like the black gum more trash just a lot more things compared to Paris and I was kind of surprised about that because I didn't because I thought Paris is a little dirty but then when I came here I was like oh wow that yeah this is dirty um but it's definitely not the dirtiest place I've been in because you know New York and some parts of DC can be absolutely disgusting but it's definitely a lot more compared to Paris especially after going to both cities back to back I'm, like sweating up a storm here because it's so hot everywhere and that's another thing to be aware of. I didn't expect it to be this hot because it is raining and it's cold outside in London, but I am still burning up. And maybe that's because I'm wearing black, but like it was raining like not too long ago. It was still so hot, it's still hot. I, the water was cold, but the air was just humid and hot. So that's not fun. Final thing for the video. There are, I feel like there are so many more restaurants in Paris versus London, especially just like smaller restaurants because I feel like in Paris, I could just like walk in the street and find all these restaurants that I could go to versus in London, uh, you have to kind of search for like a decent restaurant because there are just a lot of like more crappy places. Um, and I mean, I don't really know if they're crappy. They may look a little like you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but they look kind of mm, from the outside. But in Paris, everything looked like really nice. I, I feel like I had a lot more options there and um, for like food quality, right? 
health-wise, we had a lot better food, a lot, uh, way better food in Paris than London so far. And maybe that's just because we didn't research enough, but like everywhere in Paris, we had some good food, but here it's kind of like a hit or miss. And maybe that's our fault for not researching as much, but just like be aware of that. Um, because I feel like in Paris, you can always find something good. Like as long as you look it up and see if it has like good reviews on uh, Google or on Yelp, but in London, you will find some bad things and that kind of sucks. So you just have to like look out wherever you go. Just like look, look, it, look at it online before you go, seriously. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed all of these Europe vlogs and videos. See you next time.